bring your own cup, please. Bring your own cup. I have to bring please. three. He brings three cups, because one for coffee, coffee, one for <laughs> juice and water. So I don't like to mix them. <laughs> so you, <laughs> for strange people, bring three cups. For normal folk, just bring a cup. Hi, my name is Laura Falsois. I'm a social impact strategist. Hi, I'm Benjamin Von Wong, and I am an artist. So um, we wanted to create the feeling, a little bit of a feeling of constriction, of claustrophobia. Um, wanted to have these walls kind of pressing in and then also have a little bit of reference to its tryptophobia, which is the fear of like circles and round uneven things. And so that's why you see so many circles staring back at you. We kind of wanted to balance it between beauty and disturbing um, to go for more a sensation of unease rather than pure disgust. You could talk about waste in so many different ways and um, plastics are a really interesting medium because plastic in itself is not an evil thing. It's actually a really important material. Um, it's a brilliant invention. So what we really want to do is kind of shine light on the issue and talk about how it's shades of gray. We have to think of a, an easier way to balance out the good that plastic can give us and also the fact that um, it needs to come back into our economy. There has to be some kind of circular cycle to what plastics can, can offer us. The idea yeah. behind creating an installation is really, um, and this is sort of a weapon in that you give anyone who has a cell phone the ability to now broadcast a message in an interesting way because there's nothing more powerful than a friend sharing something. People look at me and they see an artist, um, a creative, but I think I see myself more as a problem solver. What that really takes is that it requires like a nonprofit partner, someone who knows something. It requires a company who has a new initiative, a new technology, a new mission. Like there has to be some impetus for, for me to be able to solve that problem. If there are no boundaries, then you can just whip up random ideas that have no framework to exist in. So I think that's kind of why we work pretty well together because Laura's got all the rules and I got <laughs> no rules. He just likes breaking them. Yeah. It's okay. I 